Um, Kuba Booba says, this game is too weird for me. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's, it is a different kind of game. It is a different kind of game. There's a lot of systems in it, and um, it does not do a great job of welcoming new players on board. Although this game is known... Oh, crap! Come on! Come on! What's up with that? Not cool. Ugh. Drop me right in the middle of these guys? You gotta let me get my bearings for like a second, please. They're kind of going at each other. That's a little surprising. All right. Here we go. Oh, crap. I totally missed him. Don't you run away from me now. Come on. Ugh, it's a big bruiser. Ugh, dang it. Good job, Abby. Abby's my special cat. I'm playing as a... Uh, always, as my wife, Holly. Abby is her beloved childhood cat. <clears throat> Ugh. Man, he's so big that it's hard to... <sighs> My gosh. Ugh. Ugh, man, barely dodged that. All right, get in there. I think we're wearing him down. Yep, that's what I like to see. Ugh. Ugly, nasty stinker. Is he running? Ooh, let's get in there. Come on, girl. Man, I need to sharpen my blade big time. Get up, girl! Get up! Oh my gosh. Ugh. 
What a stinker. All right. Ugh. Oh, look at that. I gotta keep going at his feet is... Oh no, my blade is all like, ugh. Way too dull right now. I've gotta sharpen this, but he's not giving me a break. You don't wanna run to another location yet, dude? Okay, I'm gonna sharpen now. Oh, what happened to my... What happened to my commands? Ugh, he's never gonna let me sharpen now. Oh, look at that, he got trapped. Beautiful. Beautiful. Come on, get in there. Wow, okay. Wow, that was intense. Whew! Okay. <laughs> uh, while I have a breather here, let me catch up a little bit. Um, Craig, thanks for jumping back in. Says, glad to see you still standing, bud. Or crawling. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased at how well I'm doing right now. I'm trying to just take potty breaks whenever I need them, and, uh... Um... Let's see here. What am I forgetting? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to take your special, uh... Trying to just throw myself into the games that I love, and uh, this is a game that I love. Oh, don't you run from me now! Oh! Oh, jeez. Oh, crap! Ugh. Well, thankfully, my uh, vitality mantle took, uh, took all that. Ugh. Man, I'm just catching a bunch of air. This guy is so huge. There's not much of him that's accessible on the ground level. <clears throat> Ugh! Man. Ugh, crap. Dang it, he got me again! Really hate that. Get up, girl! Yeah, there's some good hits I'm getting in. Jeez Louise. Oh my gosh! Oh, that was a move, wasn't it? My gosh. Ugh! Oh, man. Bringing those traps was like the right move with my Palico. Oh, and he's limping now, baby. He is on the run. That's right. You know what's coming. You know what's coming. Good gravy. I hope I'm not getting this guy mixed up with the other Devil Joe. 
I don't know where that other Devil Joe went. Oh, I think he's down south. Okay, okay. Yeah, I just don't want to waste time trying to whittle them both down at once. Okay, feel just a tiny bit of a headache coming on, so after I take this one down, I need to take some Tylenol. Oh, and I can eat again, so I need to remember to go back to camp and eat. Ooh, I'm close. Oh, he's sleeping. Can I trap him? I doubt it. This game is not going to let me trap him. Is he even really sleeping? I'm not even sure what I'm looking at here. Oh, he is. He's sleeping. Well, let's give it a go, I guess. Nope, he's not falling for it. <clears throat> All right, come on, Abby. Man, they got close quarters in here. Oh, jeez. Come on, girl. Come on. Get up. Get up. Did we just... We got him. Yes. Oh. Yes, all right. One down, you piece of crap. Whew. All right. Now, where's the other one? There he is. Um... Yeah, let's travel here. Eat, refill, sharpen up. <sighs> All right. Let's see here. Where's the... where's the little table? Here we go. What do we want to do here? Do we want to emphasize attack, defense? It'd be nice to get kind of a combo of both, but there might not be something like that available. Um... Oh, one of these might be good. Let's do this one. Okay. All right. Well, here we go. Man, I love this game. <laughs> Uh. Oh, we're getting close now. Oh man, now I got the song Africa stuck in my head all of a sudden again. Hey boy, it's wedding there for you.
Whoa, he didn't growl at me. I thought he was going to roar. Now he's roaring. I guess if maybe for a moment there he wasn't sure what to make of me. <laughs> like, is this... Is this girl actually, like, swinging at me? I actually was. Getting in some good hits, too. He's not being very aggressive. I'm a little insulted that he doesn't think of me as more of a threat. You waiting for a better fighting ground? Is that what this was? This one's a little bit smaller, I think. I feel like, in general, he's lower to the ground. Oh, jeez. There's that move. Jeez Louise. Ugh. Ah, crap. Ugh. Oh, man, I hate that move. I hate all his moves. He truly is a devil, Joe. Ugh, man. Ooh, nice, Abby. Very nice. Jeez. Oh, crap. Ugh. Come on, girl. Ugh. Ugh. Crap. Get up, girl, get up. Oh my gosh. Do not let him get you. Man, I used up both of my instant heal max potions. Crap. Yeah, we both need a breather, don't we? Shake it off, girl. Shake it off. Come on. Shake it off. Shake it off. Okay, okay. I do not like him, Sam I am. Where is he going? I want to refill my max potions.
All right, Abby, you ready? Yeah! Ah! Oh. Gosh. Come on, Abby, stay on him, stay on him. Get some of those crazy cat traps out. Abby, where are you? Ugh. Oh. Abby. Oh, Abby, I cannot do this without you. Get the crap up! Oh my gosh. This guy's gonna... Ugh. Abby, he came way too close to carding me. Now, come on! Come on, come on, come on. Ugh, jeez. Hate that move. Might need to see if I can fit some tremor resistance into this build next time. That is all kinds of annoying. Ugh. Ugh, jeez, Louise. Right here. No? not the best place for a trap, Abby. Ugh. Girl, get the crap up. Oh, jeez. Mm. Oh, jeez. Okay, dig into him, Abby. Oh, look out for the poison. Oh, no, don't sharpen now. Jeez. Well, I gotta sharpen soon. There we go. Good gravy. Oh, don't be stinging me with your business. Okay, he's hurting. He's hurting. That is just how I want it. Should top off my health before I get into it with him again.
Yeah, he's probably sleeping too. Oh no, maybe not yet. Not yet. You gonna sleep? How'd you go to sleep? No. He's not gonna sleep. Alright, that's fine. Oh, look at that! Oh, I haven't been remembering to use my Clutch Claw. Yes. Mm. Whew. That's how we do it. Okay. Okay. Craig says, it definitely keeps you on your toes. You weren't expecting the exact same fight as the last monster, were you? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I mean, I put uh, 760 some hours into this game, and I still am impressed by the enemy AI because while I know what the creatures are going to tend to do, I can't predict in any, in most any given moment, what they're about to do until maybe a split second or a couple of second or two before they do it, you know. Um, and with the different environments that the fights can take place in, there's just uh, there's just so many variables that must be going on behind the scenes. Um, it's really. Really impressive, and I th and I think it's what keeps me coming back, and what keeps so many players coming back, despite the fact that you know when you describe the game, you're like, yeah, you're fighting the same two dozen monsters over and over and over again for hundreds and hundreds of hours. And I mean, I can understand people hearing that and just being like, what? Why? Uh, but when you but when you get into it and when you play it, then you start to understand. You start to they start to kind of seem to come alive in some way. And I've said this many times before, but I'll say it again. I think that one of the things that I enjoy about the Monster Hunter games, or Monster Hunter World, I mean, it's really the only game I've given, in the series I've given significant time to. Um, you know, I, I find myself talking to the monsters and, you know, and being like, oh, all right, come on, big fella, you know, and, and kind of like having playful trash talk with them. And I think there's something here, something in, in our enjoyment of fighting these monsters and, and kind of liking them, even as we're challenged by them. We love them, even though it's an adversary relationship. I think that there's something related to play between humans and animals that we're meant to have and that will be present in the new heaven and the new earth, but is not present now with most animals on earth because of the curse, because things are broken and there's death. And um, yeah, I always remember this great uh, Superman comic where Clark who was just not, not in costume uh, just out in like Africa wrestling with the tiger and you know and he was like uh, oh you want some big fella you know he was just kind of like ha like he was talking to a dog like he was playing with the dog you want to play big fella you know all right let's go you know and the, the lion wouldn't have been playing I don't think but I mean that's what it was to Clark you know um, but I, I suspect in the new heaven and the new earth we'll have these kinds of relationships with animals where there will be pre play on both sides it will not be a a, uh, an adversarial relationship on the part of either party um, and that there's something here that foreshadows that even in the design of these games there's a desire, a subconscious desire for us to have a right relationship with creation you know, that will be fulfilled in the new heaven and the new earth um, 
And until then, we just enjoy these foreshadowing fantasies that foreshadow in ways that even they don't intend. All right, I'm going to take a potty break, and then I'll think about what I want to hunt next. Because I think I'll do, you know, maybe one or two more hunts in here before uh, before moving on to Far Cry Six. Okay, so I just finished. Um, <laughs> Bombardier says it's three a.m. now. Food luck, uh, and then corrects, food good. Good luck. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I could get some luck from some of this food. Oh, dang. Look at this stuff. Look at this. Look at this. Uh, um, this is my dish of candy that I have. Um, so I got... Uh, yeah, I got to lift it up there a little bit. Um, got Kit Kats, Skittles... Snickers, Reese's peanut butter cups. That's a good bowl of candy. It's not something I can get into now. I think it'll just do havoc to my stomach. And then I got Crunch and Munch. Look at this bowl that was once filled with Crunch and Munch all around with my smaller container of extra peanuts in the middle. And I've barely gotten into my Kroger Mint Fudge and Road cookies which continue to be better than a Girl Scout in every way. Uh, yeah. And then I got ice cream waiting for me from specifically for my recovery day, waiting in the freezer for me to wake up and put on, I think, some Titans Season 3. And maybe after a couple episodes of that, maybe some more Expanse. Um... Yeah. Uh, so, okay, that was... That was the heart of the Nora. And now, A Whisper of White Mane is the next event quest that I had written down to... to try and tackle. I think that is... I think that's a Kieran... I think that's a Kieran hunt. But I think it might be like a tougher Kieran than, than usual. Oh, Balmy Leader says it's 210 for me. All right, you must be uh, on the the time change now. You must be like in uh, California or somewhere a little west of me. Uh, <laughs> Balmy Leader says, I would murder that candy bowl. <laughs> I'll probably murder it tomorrow. No, I'm actually going to try and stretch it out. Because last year, I was kind of sad when I got through all of my marathon treats before the following Thursday. The reason being that the following Thursday is when my boys had their back-to-back -back live streams, which I kind of function as producer for, sitting, they're sitting right here using my TV and my setup and stuff, and I'm sitting just off to the right at my computer, not playing cool video games for 12 hours. I'm just there serving as their producer for 12 hours. <laughs> I mean, I think I played on my Vita and stuff, and... I might have brought my TV over and tried to play stuff, you know, a little bit here and there, but uh, I missed not having my treats. I was sad that I had eaten them all up. So I'm going to try and make them last so that I can enjoy them while I'm stuck in here manning the uh, the technical aspects of their, their live streams on Thursday. All right. So um, let me confirm that this quest is what I think it is. It's a event quest. What's it called? A Whisper of White Mane. A Whisper of White Mane. Oh, there it is. Oh, jeez. So it's a Kirin, and it's high rank, so it's not master rank, but it's it's an arch-tempered Kirin. I'm trying to think if I have... I think I did slay this... I think I did do the Deathly Quiet Curtain, which is an arch-tempered Valhazak. There's regular... And then there's tempered... And then there's arch-tempered. All right. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's do it. 
Let's do it. I, I mean, I don't know if that's going to be harder than the master rank version. I have taken out the master rank version with some effort. Um, let's do our prep here. Kieran. All right. That looks like it's all up to snuff. And then, what are you using for... Is that a, oh, that's a fire weapon. Let's see here. I'm going to look at my hunter info for Kieran. So fire is definitely good. Um, I don't know, it's not good for much in the realm of, like, stun. and I think I'll have my Palico use that... Uh, that fire grenade thing instead of the traps. Oops. <clears throat> Come on, what's your best fire weapon? 75 and 200, is that really your best? 60 and 220. They're both rarity 10. Um, I think I'll go with uh, this one. And then... <sighs> yeah, let's go with this. Alright, I think we're set. Oh, let's make sure your... Uh, your loadout here is what you want. Yeah, I think that's good. And a quick save. Oof. I am feeling the sleepies in between monster fights, though. Monster hunts. It's like really in it for the monster hunt, but then like the prep. I don't know if I can spend much time here, so yeah, it may, I think it makes sense to do one more hunt and then get into Far Cry 6 and maybe end up spending the rest of the time there. We'll see. Okay. Here we go. <sighs> All right. Um, uh, this is, Bromley Leader says, this is probably the least eventful donation stream on CGC. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I, do seem, uh, I do seem to be doing uh, pretty good. Pretty good. And I'm sorry if that makes it less entertaining for you. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Bomb Leader says, 2020 was more eventful with uh, more games and stuff. Not uh, uh, not dating this is bad, but compared to the rest is least eventful. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to remember if... I don't know if that's accurate as far as the game count. I think that there were fewer games over the course of the whole marathon last year. This, this might be the highest game variety count. Um... But certainly so far less eventful in the realm of my craziness. Um, yeah, we'll see how the rest plays out. Um, am I good to go? I think I might be. Yep. All right. And Winter Queen, hey! Thanks for jumping in the chat. Still going strong, I see. She says, good for you. It's 11.14 a.m. in the Netherlands. Echoey voice. Oh, crap! Why do they keep dumping me right on the doorstep of these guys? Oh, he's gonna get away. Mmm. Don't you run away from me. I didn't get a chance to drink all my potions, but I did not want him to run away. Mm. 
Ugh. Come on, come on. Come on, girl, you got this. Okay, yeah. Getting some good hits in. Well done. All right, let's get these, uh... Ah, oh, crap. There we go. Okay. Got our potions in effect. Took us a little while, but... Come on, Abby, get in there. Burn this punk. That's right, look at him, he's panting. That's what we want, that's what we want. Just stay on him. Boy, that temporal mantle that's doing all those auto-dodges for me is amazing! Oh, crap. Okay. Oh, crap. Where's my, uh... Oh, here we go. Ah, oh, come on! Ugh. Ugh. Ow. Oh my gosh, come on now. Girl, no, get up. Oh, jeez. Good gravy. Oh my gosh! Dang it! Come on, girl, come on. Move, move! Move, girl, move! Oh my gosh. Thank you, Abby. Good work, Abby. That's right, that's right. Yes! Good hits, good hits! Oh, look out! Jeez, almost got me. Crap. That's right, that's right, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, crap, that hurt a bit. All right, now she's running away. Okay. Now I'm not so frustrated by that. Whoo, boy. Not messing around. Oh, crap! Dang it. 
You gonna come down here? Fight me down here? No? Dang it. I messed up the jump there. Oh boy. Good hits, good hits. Stay in there. Oh, crap. Ugh. Man. Do not like these close quarters fights. Oh, get out of there. And back in. Oh, he's got the... He's got that kind of shielding now. Oh, crap. Get up, get up, get up. Oh, dang it! Oh, crap. Heal, girl, heal. There you go. Good job. Oof. Oh, dang it. Oh, boy. Oh, dang it! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! Dang it! Oh. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, close quarters like that. Not cool. <sighs> Pretty sure I can eat again, though. Um, let's see here. Oh, no, I can't. Crap. Okay, so let's do this. All right, now, refill supplies. Not as good as being able to actually eat a meal again and get all the buffs from it, but I'll take it. I'll take it. Mm -mm. All right, Balmy Leader says, only got three more hours. You can do it. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Less than. Less than three. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, he, I don't think he's too far from me. Um, I think I've whittled him down a good amount, though. I, I, I kind of have a feeling that he's not too far from being beaten, but I don't know. I could be wrong. Oh, crap. Oh, my gosh. All right, here we go. Dang it. Oh man, I'm using up all my dodges. Oh jeez. Yeah, get in there, get in there. Come on, 
girl. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, jeez. I don't want to fight you in here. Why don't you run? Yeah, you're limping, right? You limping? I really hope you are. I think you are. Please limp to a wide open area. <laughs> Ooh, let me sharpen myself here. Okay, good. My vitality mantle's ready to go, so that'll absorb a good chunk of damage for me. Yeah, I think he went up to that nest at the top. <sighs> oh, he's sleeping. Oh, he's sleeping. Why did I not bring my, um, my blow-up things? My, uh, giant barrels of blow-up. Because <laughs> these guys... I mean, I might be able to stun him with a trap, but I won't be able to trap him. I guess we can just give it a go and see if we can at least immobilize him for a moment. Nope. Alright, well... Get some hits in. Dang it. Oh, jeez, get out of there. Oh. Ah, oh, crap. Ugh. Oh, he's got that stinking armor on. Makes him such a pain to try and hit. My gosh. Oh, get up, girl. No, no, no. We can't do that. You cannot do that. Thank you, Abby. Oh, jeez. Oh, crap! Oh, my gosh! No! Oh. Oh. No, 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 no. Jeez. Ugh! Dang it. All right, that's all of my instant heals. That's right, get in there. Come on, Abby, let's get him. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, girl. Oh, no. Oh, good girl, Abby. Good girl. Oh, jeez, barely dodged that.
Oh man, my blade's getting dull. Oh crap! Yes! Boom! Oh! This game doesn't mess around. <laughs> uh, Balmy Leader says, Do you like Batman Begins or Dark Knight better? Um, Dark Knight. Yeah, I think Dark Knight. All right. Whew. And that was a whisper of white mane. Oh, good gravy. All right, about two hours, 25 minutes left. I'm ready, I think, for some Far Cry 6. And then some sleep. And then some wake up and eat my goodies. <laughs> okay. Oh man, and now of course I'm instantly feeling it the moment I'm away from that intense situation. Instantly feeling it. Save. Progress saved. And let's switch it over to the Series X. Do some Far Cry 6. All right. All right, Balmy Leader, California. Yep, that, that sounds about right. Okay. Here we go. The Plusty Far Cry 6. I think it might be the Plustiest. Plustiest of all the Far Cries. We'll see. <sighs> all right, Ubisoft. Don't let me down. You have been there for me so many marathons before, helping me get through the final hours. Meet me again in my hour of need. Uh, Carl's Rufus, thanks for jumping into chat, says, The reason why this is amazing is that you're playing these games exactly the way I would have. Keep it up, but if it is too stressful, consider two 12-hour shifts. Um, I, you know, it's not, it's not too stressful. Uh, this is my eighth time doing this, uh, consecutive, in consecutive years. Um... And um, it has not been getting, despite me getting older so far, I have not noticed that having a, an effect significantly yet on the... I'm not going to check out your weapons. I am going to go out and do crazy open world activities. Oh, I'll tell you, I know what I'm going to do. Here's what I saved. <laughs> I saved specifically for this live stream that I forgot about is uh, there's some there's some treasure in places where there are sharks and I was like that'll keep me awake that'll keep me awake because I, I don't want anything to do with being underwater with sharks in video games hate that stuff hate that stuff not a fun time for me so I was just like I'm saving those I'm saving those ones um, let's see, I think we were, I was going to try and do like the rank three stuff. 
I mean, this one clearly is going to have sharks, right? Obviously. Um, so I'm there. Let's get me here. Um, yeah, and I think that I think that part of, you know, as far as like 24 versus 212, um, I think part of it is that, you know, doing the 24 hours is, is meant to convey my, my commitment, uh, my dedication uh, to raising funds um, for the charity that I'm raising funds for. And uh, I feel like two separate 12s doesn't quite communicate that as much as saying, listen, I'm going to do a 24-hour, I'm going to play video games for 24 hours straight, you know. Straight, quote unquote, I mean, the Guinness Book of World Records allows more breaks in what is still counted as a continuous activity than I take during, typically during my, uh, my marathons. So uh, I figure if it's good enough for a Guinness record, it's good enough for this little thing I'm doing. <laughs> uh, okay, so open up that map, find trouble and head toward it. Um, let's head this way. Let's head that way. That'll help me. Hopefully there'll be boats there, and then that can take me to this crate that will have sharks all around it, I'm sure. We're going to need a vehicle. Let's see. Let's... Go with uh, this car. All right, good. It's a cute little car, looks nimble. Here we go. Um, where's my, I want a GPS line to follow on my mini-map. You usually give me that. Why didn't you give me that this time? How will I know where to go if you don't give me that? Oh, crap. <laughs> Listen. Listen. You gotta tell me where to go. Right now, it looks like I should be turning a really sharp left and heading back the other way. All right, this is what we're doing. Why are those people running out to be hit by me? That was insane. That's not the first open world game I've seen where people seem to do that. It's really bizarre. Um, the crap, do I take one of those blue roads? Um. I'm trying to... Okay, listen. I, I gotta take the direct route. Alright, here's how we're doing this. Oh, crap. That's a little less... Uh, less direct than I was thinking it might be. Oh. Um, okay. Well, I guess we're gonna do water stuff earlier than even I thought. Okay. All right, any sharks or maybe not this far inland. Gators though, there's gators in this game. Oh, I gotta make sure I'm using the nice, okay, soft target rounds. That's what you want for nature creatures. Like these guys. Oh no, you can't see the game! What is happening? Painter's asleep at the wheel. I don't know why that's not showing up. Let me let me fix that. Sorry about that. Christian Geek Central